Good afternoon, everybody. This is Neil from Viscom with Kevin Frazier, our technical support manager. Uh, uh, this afternoon, we're going to be showing you a little review about our integration with Centricity and a new feature that we are providing called multi-doc batching. This is a, a jointly developed module that sits on top of Centricity that allows you to take multiple documents and fax them all with one transmission. A, a, a little bit of background about BISCOM. We were founded in 1986 by Mr. S.K. Ho. We're in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. We have about 5,000 customers. Uh, we have about 1,000 customers in the centricity world. And uh, GE actually did the integration of our product using our APIs, which are now embedded in centricity. Uh, we have been working together with GE now for a little over 10 years. And as I mentioned, we have about 1,000 accounts using our product in, in the GE world. This is a matrix that, that differentiates our two different products that we offer in the GE space. And I'll turn this over to Kevin, and he can get into some more uh, detail about the different functionalities here. Uh, thank you, Neil. And thank you, everyone, for attending the uh, webinar today. Um, this product, MultiDoc, um, as Neil uh, mentioned, sits on top of an existing Centricity uh, installation. Uh, you would need uh, CPS version 12 uh, to uh, load MultiDoc. Um, and to get MultiDoc, uh, as you can see from the chart here at the bottom, MultiDoc does require that CV Plus be installed. So uh, any of the uh, you customers that are out there that are running CV, uh, you would need to consider upgrading to CV Plus in order to support uh, MultiDoc being installed. Um, one great thing about doing this upgrade is it's not just about getting multi-doc. Um, you would also um, be opening yourself up to, the, um, to the, uh, uh, the idea of being able to virtualize your system, being able to um, uh, uh, you know, have inbound routing to email, integration with email, things like that. Uh, so there's a lot of benefits other than just multi-doc by going to CV+. So as I mentioned, um, the requirement um, for uh, multi-doc uh, is to have CPS 12 for GE uh, and CV Plus for, uh, for BISCOM. Now, you can virtualize. Uh, you can also use a, a system with a board in it. Um, either way uh, is okay with us. Um, right now, multi-doc is for outbound faxing only, as you'll see during the demonstration. Uh, and it is available now. We've got it installed already uh, at some locations, and so far, so good. So what I'm going to do is switch over to the uh, live presentation at this point. And here we have uh, CPS 12 loaded. And what I'm going to do is just a, a quick recap on what goes on today. So today, you have a patient chart here, and you want to send um, a, uh, a report out as a fact. So here's uh, EKG reports, imaging reports, lab reports. So I'll, I'll just randomly grab one of these lab reports. And the way to send this report is you would click on the print button. And then you would select the BISCOM fax printer to um, uh, fax out this document. And when you hit print, you would then select your location where you want this fax to go. So uh, you can um, choose from insurance companies, pharmacies, service, referring providers, service providers, personal contacts, things like that. These are all pulling directly from inside Centricity. We're the only company that's embedded directly inside of Centricity here. So um, I'll, just, um, I'll just grab any number here. I'll grab number there. Okay, and uh, here's the sending uh, doctor. Here's the cover page. Um, if you have other cover pages loaded, you can pull those from the drop-down list. Any types of um, information you want to put in for the subject or any types of comments, these will carry directly to the cover page. When you're ready, you hit fax. So this report that we just pr uh, printed, this, uh, in this case, this lab report, will go through the network, grab an available fax port, and be sent on out. Okay. 
Um, so that's what happens uh, today. So here's the problem. You have, uh, again, you have these imaging reports, there's three here. You have these lab reports, there's, what, five? At the, uh, EKG report, there's a couple here. So you have a multitude of reports. Say somebody, a, a, a doctor or someone calls up and says, I need all these sent out for this particular patient. Today, you have to do each one of these individually. You can't hold down control or hold down shift. I'm holding it down right now. You can't do that. Um, so here is where uh, multi-doc comes in. So up here, this multi-doc button, this uh, ribbon button, if you press it, what happens is it launches um, the multi-doc application. And if you're signed in as a doctor, you won't even see this login screen. But because this is my test system, I'm going to uh, have to uh, log in manually here. So this screen would normally just pop right up for you, and you would um, uh, instantly be able to choose um, which documents you want to uh, send out. So note that all of these fields are sortable. So if I click on document, notice the over here, if I click on document, it will alphabetize uh, in ascending or descending order based on which click I've done. Okay, also note that some of these fields have this, uh, these three lines here, which will allow for more granularity in your sort. So say I only want to pull up lab reports. I can deselect everything, choose lab report, and now I'm looking at just lab reports only if I wanted to, um, you know, just focus on uh, perhaps faxing these you know, types of documents. Any documents that have attachments over on the right-hand side, there will be a checkbox. So you could uh, check the attachments box. So say there's, you know, this particular uh, imaging report, this echocardiogram report, has four documents, uh, four attachments. If by checking this checkbox, that will include all four attachments. If there's one attachment, it will include the one attachment. So what I'm going to do is uh, select a few documents here. And notice down here, um, I can um, select the listed um, items. I can select everything by just checking this checkbox. And I can also um, and I can also right here only show selected items. So as I'm selecting items, I can, um, you know, uh, streamline it down to just those items that were selected. So once I'm happy with the number of documents um, that I've selected, uh, you know something, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select everything. Okay, so uh, everything in this chart is going to go, all the lab reports, imaging reports, EKG reports. So I'm going to hit next. And here is where we can address the facts. So uh, need number one is, the, the ability to batch multiple documents, you know, all at once. So we've done that. I've just showed you that. The second need and third need is being able to put in a, a fax uh, number on the fly. So um, here's where I can select a fax number if it's, you know, in the list for this particular patient. Um, but say I wanted to add one uh, on the fly. I could put a, uh, a name in here. Uh, if it's a foreign number, I just uncheck this box and put in whatever number I want to put in. Or I, if it's a, you know, a U.S.-based uh, phone number, I can plug that number in here as well. Once I'm happy with what I've typed, hit plus. It not only adds this into the patient uh, uh, chart for this particular um, patient, but also puts it in the table for us. Uh, so need number two is faxing on the fly, which this just addressed. And also need number three is multiple recipients. So I can have this go out to um, three different places if I wanted to. So I'll just, for the moment, I'll just send it out to two different places. So uh, hitting next, here is where I can bring up um, all of the providers and, and uh, doctors that uh, correlate out to uh, the patients. And this is not just 
for this singular patient. This is in the entire system. So um, th this is referring uh, as well as uh, doctors here. So if I wanted to add one of those in, I could uh, select um, that person to, uh, to also be included in the uh, fax, as a fax recipient. So hitting next brings us to the final uh, window. And notice as I'm hitting next and previous here, I'm going across these four tabs up top. So I could just click those if I wanted to you know, um, you know, mainline myself right to a specific tab. So here is where you can do your final check before you hit send. Now, uh, you know, I don't want this Reginald Jackson to be in uh, my list. So I'm going to hit previous. And then I'm going to deselect Reginald and go back to next. And here's our two recipients. So at this point, we've got everything queued up. And I'm going to hit send. And that's it. So bear in mind, there was, it, 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 as you know from earlier screens, there were at least eight or nine documents here that are going out. But I, I know for a fact there's at least 30 documents in reality that are going out. So to do that, um, you would have had to have a person sit down and do each one individually. Now with Multidoc, you can do them all at once to multiple people, to any number you uh, want, on the fly or from the uh, from inside the uh, phone books, inside Centricity. So I'm going to bring up the fax server uh, at this point. And so as you can see, uh, the fax server, this is running in the background at your environment, uh, is running a conversion. And all the conversions are done. All 30 pages are done and now delivered. Uh, because it's an internally routed uh, system, uh, that's um, you know why the uh, delivery is already done. But the conversion did not take that long. So. Um, how do you know uh, how things went? Um, you would go to Chart Desktop, and in here there is a fax status tab over here on the left-hand side. And here is where it tells us, okay, there were 32 pages, and they went out. Uh, the first one went out at well 2:14 to Neil, and the second one went out at 2:14 as well to, to myself. And down here is a little bit more detail about what went out. And it also gives you a summary of the different lab reports that went out and gives you a little bit more information uh, regarding the, uh, the facts that went out. So uh, there is uh, information fed back to the, uh, the charts as well. That's very good, Kevin. But that's also important for audit trails. Correct. Mm -hmm. Meaningful use, audit yep. trails, things of that yep. nature. So um, now uh, to give you an idea of what the output looks like, so um, I'm going to bring up uh, folder here. And uh, so you had uh, you know, 32 pages, 487 kilobytes. If I bring up the document, here's our cover page. Um, you can design any cover page you wish uh, to use in the system. You can have cover pages based on users or, in, or, or groups. Um, it can be based on uh, you know, departments. Uh, very easy to build cover pages and get them into the system. Uh, so I'm going to hit thumbnail to this. And here are, are the 32 pages that we sent. Um, and I'll just click on a couple here. So um, here's um, some you know, medical results on this one. Uh, looks like you have some more results as well. So it just grabs them all in order. And the image files attached too. Correct. So um, going to the bottom here, notice that our, uh, the last one, there was an attachment included. Um, of course, this comes up a little grainy because it's a, uh, some type of an x-ray or a sonar or whatever it is. But the, the point of the matter is we can send attachments out. And if they're clean, uh, they will uh, go out at 200 dots per inch, which is double you know, fax and quality. Uh, gives you a little bit more granularity and clarity when you're sending your fax. So it did grab all uh, 32 uh, pages uh, that were um, in this patient shot. Now, uh, we go after signed documents. Uh, and you can also uh, specify uh, by default to not go after certain documents. So say you never want to bring up lab reports. You can uh, set a switch inside of, uh, inside of Multidoc that says, you know, ignore um, you know, lab reports at all times. And so uh, they would never come up if that's what you wanted uh, by default. Um, so um, that is um, Multidoc. So um, at this point, um, we're going to take some uh, questions and uh, take a look at the questions that have come in. And 
Let me take a look at some of the questions here. For any additional information about multi-docs or about CV and CV plus for centricity, uh, you can call our 800 number or you can send us a fax or you can contact Kevin and I directly and we'll be happy to work with you and uh, introduce multi-doc for you. As Kevin has mentioned, if this is installed, it is in use and how it enhances your efficiencies is leap years ahead of the way, the way it has been used in the past. Okay. Now, the past is still very viable, and we have a lot of them out there, yep. uh, but uh, this, this just enhances the whole integration. Okay, so um, th so far there's five questions. So uh, uh, can multi-doc receive? A multi-doc can receive, Centricity can receive, uh, but it has to go through a document management product because by design all EMRs cannot handle the fax directly into it. It has to be, it has to be screened and looked at and then it can be posted to the patient's chart. Right, and, and, and it doesn't matter which receiving uh, document management system it is, it's all pretty much the same. It gets converted by the fax server into a TIFF or a PDF image. We drop it to a, a UNC folder somewhere, and then that third-party application, you know, you know, that's what you use to view the document and marry it to one of the image, one of the uh, charts in the uh, inside of Centricity. Yeah, I, 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 I need to clarify something. You don't need multi-doc to receive faxes. Uh, multi-doc is an outbound application. But to receive faxes, depending on the sender, can send you as many pages as they want. And we will, and we will deliver that to a UNC path or to a folder. And then the document manager system can pick it up and post it to the chart. Outside of Centricity, you can receive faxes right to desktops. And using our network application called Suite, you can actually create simple workflows and you could take it like pages one, three, five, and seven and say, oh, I, I, I want this to go to Centricity and send it off to the document management system, or you could break the documents up and send them to X number of locations with, with, uh, within the network. Right, but uh, for the sake of this discussion, uh, multi-doc is send only at this time. Uh, now, uh, will this work on CPS version 11? No, um, it is right now it is for CPS version 12 uh, only. I'll skip this one for the moment, Neil, and let you answer it at the end. Uh, is it a separate program? This, this module is absolutely something separate. Um, it is something that needs to be purchased separately, and it can be uh, loaded on top of your existing uh, CV Plus environment, um, but it is not uh, part of Suite or part of the fax server. It is a separate component. Uh, and actually, these two are for you, Neil. Um, do you offer a hosted model? Uh, we are we are testing a hosted model right now. We do have a couple of sites using it. Uh, we still have a, a few more tires to kick on it, but it will be available on a hosted environment as well. Okay. And then the last question I have is, how much does it cost? It is priced based on providers, so it's not uh, it, it it's not a cookie cutter. Uh, it is based on providers, similar to how Centricity is priced. And if there aren't any other questions, That's it. Uh, please feel free to contact us. We've enjoyed presenting this to you, and I hope it was valuable for you. Thank you, and have a great day. Have a great day, everybody.